What's going on everybody? My name is Bobby and I'm just another reactor here on YouTube and today I'm going to be reacting to Love Bites and I believe this song is called Scream For Me. It also says Daughters of the Dawn live in Tokyo 2019. I'm guessing that Daughters of the Dawn is the name of the show that they're playing at. I'm not sure but I'm going to guess that this song is called Scream For Me. And about three days ago, I reacted to the new Love Bite song called Judgment Day with their uh, new bass player, Fami, which is the first music video they've recorded with Fami playing, other than that little promo one they did to introduce her. But after I recorded that and posted it and everything, I saw this video, and when I saw the name Scream for me, it reminded me of the Iron Maiden Live After Death album, for those of y'all that know that album, uh, that came out in the 80s, I believe. Uh, it was from the Power Slave tour. Bruce Dickinson in that album says, Scream for me, Long Beach. Uh, he says that quite a bit on that album. I guess the show was in Long Beach, California. So I just, I just hear Bruce Dickinson's voice saying, Scream for me, Long Beach, you know. <laughs> So I'm not sure if this song has anything to do with that. Is this going to sound kind of Iron Maiden-ish or not? Or or maybe they just got the idea for the name of the song just based on that. But maybe it sounds nothing like Iron Maiden. I don't know. But I decided I'd react to it even though I reacted to their new song three days ago. So pretty excited about this. Love Bites really kicks ass. This one has Miho in it. So it's going to be really cool so without further ado this is my reaction to love bites scream for me hey Haruna, give me the bit <clears throat> Haruna. Sweeping legs, sir. Come in and catch your leg, you know that I can figure it out. But most of all, the time, the world to come. Oh, because the jazz comes into the pool to you. We wait there, I pray, try to get the skateboard. My bitch is up to us. I had it out. So watch the way go past the game. Okay, so before that solo, I just wanted to say a few things here. The way Haruna started that drum beat, when I played the drums, I didn't really read music. I didn't really know how to read music that well, but I'm kind of familiar with how to read some music, the simpler stuff. And when, when you're doing eighth notes or some of those eighth notes, it's kind of one and two and three and four and. The ands are on the upbeat. And it sounded like when she was hitting the bass drum on the downbeat with her foot that she came in the hi-hat with the upbeats and then started playing a beat with that upbeat on the hi-hat going. 
and the the guitar rhythm that was playing there by Miyako, I believe, uh, <clears throat> sounded like there was a lot of stroking on the downbeat, on the down notes of that guitar riff, and it just sounded real interesting. You know, it was like a real syncopated beat on the drums that Haruna was doing. It sounded badass, and that's difficult to play. And if you watch Haruna on that part, she even sounds or not sounds. She even looks like she's having difficulty with that, like she's really concentrating on that part before she can just get into the regular beat and kick everybody's ass. Uh, there's that, and then the song sounds badass. The, that little guitar lick that Miyako was doing uh, towards the beginning there before this solo I've heard the term sweeping arpeggios by some guitar players, and I don't know if that's what it was that she was doing, where it sounds like you're playing real fast, but you're just kind of picking the strings like that. Really cool. It sounded badass. It looked cool. and I don't know if those are sweeping arpeggios, but it sounded really cool. <laughs> and Midori's kind of doing the same thing there. Dory almost fell. <laughs> on the right symbol. So real quick, Haruna was doing that same downbeat on the bass drum there, but this time she was doing all kinds of rudiments and stuff on the hi-hat, which sounded badass as well. Man, she's she's a badass drummer. I don't even know what, what to say about that. That was just kick-ass. That part.
Wow. Well, that was Love Bites with Scream For Me from Daughters of the Dawn live in Tokyo 2019. And first of all, that sounded nothing like Iron Maiden, so I don't know if that the name of this song was taken from that uh, Iron Maiden um, uh, Live After Death album or not, but man, this was so kick-ass. If, if you watch my reaction to Love Bites um, Set the World on Fire, I was still fairly new to Love Bites at that point. If you've seen that reaction, you know, maybe go watch it again. If you haven't seen it, go watch it because I talk about in that video how I'm just like, I was just literally being blown away by watching that video and hearing that song. I was just so blown away by this band and, and previous songs that I had reacted to, I was blown away. But something about the Set the World on Fire just blew me away to another level and that's exactly what happened here this was just freaking mind-blowing guitar back and forth you know forever you know just like just almost like this guitar duo going on and just kick ass and you know the band just having fun looked like they were having fun sounding great Haruna kicking ass on the drums Asami I didn't mentioned Asami by name in the reaction to Judgment Day. I don't think I did, but she she's great on the vocals and Midori and Miyako, Miho on bass and now Fami. This band just is badass and this was probably one of the better songs that I've that I've reacted to from Love Bites and man, I'm gonna have to listen to this again before I start editing because this was kick ass. Anyway, that's going to do it for this reaction. You're pro I hope you're as blown away as I was. And I hope you enjoyed the reaction because it's kind of mediocre compared to this song. But if y'all want to support my channel, there's some links down in the description. But donations to my channel are not necessary, but they are greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching my reaction to Love Bites. Scream for me.